Hi there, I'm going to take you through one of my new favourite things on camp, croissant dough. And I'm also going to be chipping in from home using pan au chocolat dough. Obviously croissant dough is designed to make croissants, but what it's done is basically replace the bannock for me on a camp. But there are some other things you can do with it as well. Now the one thing is with this, once you start pulling it open, it can be a bit of a cheeky chappy and sort of do a little explosion all over the place. Oh, there we are, like that. And basically that's one big roll and everything's perforated into triangles, which you then roll to make your croissants. But you can soon form the holes back up with your finger. Just watch the video. To watch the video, get me. I'd like to just change that to, please stay tuned. There you go, quick close up on the perforations, but if you want to make another shape, you can soon squidge those shut like that. And this is what you get with the pan of chocolat tube. You get rectangular pieces with the chocolate, but you do get less. There you go, that's literally your Mark 1. I've just used the base of the can just to cut three shapes out and they puff up really nicely. And obviously I've just flipped those over. And there's your next one. That's mixed fruit studded into one that's slightly larger. You have to, if you put it on high heat, do them quite flat. If you want to do them a little thicker, they've got to be slow and low. And how's that for eggy bread? Now this is one that I've cooked slow and low. This is sort of uh, a samosary type thing. You fold the two corners of the triangle over and then you get a lip over like that to seal it. What I've also done is just crusted this in sugar and the inside is actually some locally sourced blackberries out the hedge. <laughs> That's lovely. And yep, I'll be having some cream with that. This is the home cooked chocolate equivalent. It's one piece with one piece of chocolate inside folded over and sealed like a little pasta shell. It's also good with savoury fillings too. These pinwheels are cheese and bacon. Okay me, I'll see your cheese and bacon pinwheels and raise you hot tips and cheese rolls. For the next one we need some stewed apple first. Get out of the box thinking for this experiment. And that's the croissant dough topped apple and sultana pie. Plenty of cream with that as well. We're going for it on this last one. This is some sunflower oil being heated. Some little deep fried balls, some are filled with chocolate, and some are filled with peanut butter. I've managed four with the remaining dough that I had, but you can't put too many in at one time because what it does, it cools the oil down too much. Just look at those, hardly any calories in there, he lies. Can't even begin to guess how many calories I'm consuming making this YouTube vid. <laughs> Even more calories with the stuff I'm eating at home too, but that also includes the spare chocolate I haven't used. Well, having tried to outdo my camping self, do consider giving the dough a try next time you're camping. <laughs>